You are watching Cold Fusion TV. Hi, welcome to another Cold Fusion video. So this is it, an affordable electric car for the masses that can outperform your standard petrol car at the same price. For many decades, this has just been a pipe dream because the technology was not yet good enough or cheap enough to make it a reality. There were also some other reasons, but we're not gonna go into that right now. Anyway, at a frenzied event in California, Tesla has just unveiled their end game car, the Model 3, which could be the very beginning of the mainstream electric car. So what's all the fuss about? Is this car actually any good? And what is the wider picture here for Tesla? In this video, we'll take a look and find out. Firstly, let's take a look at some aspects of the Model 3. To start off, the Model 3 will be an incredibly safe car. It has a five star safety rating for various reasons, but one of the major ones is that versus a normal car, there's an extremely large crumple zone at the front instead of a giant steel engine hurtling towards you in the event of an accident. The Model 3 will do 0 to 60 miles an hour, or about 100 kilometers an hour, in less than 6 seconds. And that's the slowest model. There's versions that will go much faster than that. You're going to get 215 miles, or 346 kilometers per charge. And all Tesla Model 3s will come with the supercharging as standard. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, states that there's now 3,600 charges worldwide, but at the end of the year, they'll be doubling the number of charges. As for practicality, the car can comfortably fit five adults and has plenty of space for extra storage, seeing as there's no engine under the bonnet. All Model 3s will come standard with Autopilot, a self-driving feature that can steer, brake and even park or drive to you when you're not in the car. I've made a separate video on how Autopilot works and it's pretty cool, so if you want to know more information about that, hit the annotation or click on the corresponding link below. So what about that price? Well, the Tesla Model 3 is set to start at $35,000 US dollars. Tesla states that even with no extras, you're not going to be able to find a better car at $35,000. Alright, so I've seen a little bit about some of the features of the car, but what about the wider picture? What does this mean for Tesla? Well, the Model 3 is the next step in the company's evolution from a high-end luxury electric car maker to a manufacturer of an affordable product for mainstream car owners. The move is very bold and presents a major risk for Tesla. To create a car that it can sell so cheaply, Tesla needed to make some big, risky decisions. The company is building a massive multi-billion dollar factory in Nevada that will mass produce batteries to help make them and the cars that they power cheaper. Musk has said that Tesla couldn't make the Model 3 without the battery factory. The company wants to churn out enough batteries at the facility to make half a million electric cars annually. The aim of the Gigafactory is to reduce the cost of batteries by 30% using various techniques such as large-scale manufacturing to leverage an economy of scale, an innovative supply chain for sourcing, and new chemistry techniques. Asian giants like Panasonic have been investing heavily in increasing supply. So really, the Model 3 is a bit of a make or break moment for Tesla. If the aspects that the company has bet on do indeed go the right way, we could be seeing a massive shift in the auto industry in the coming decade. The expectations are already high, so high that 115,000 cars have already been ordered in just 24 hours. But why exactly is this? For some fun, let's quantify this. If we think about things a little deeper, we'll quickly begin to see why so many people bought the car. The value equation, otherwise known as consumer perceived value, is the ratio of benefits to cost. So quickly, the benefits here are as follows. Never having to fill petrol again, superior safety, handling, and acceleration intrinsically due to advantages of an electric design, and also an arguably good looking car. And the costs? 35,000 US dollars, and perhaps the inconvenience of charging, but that's set to go away with the increase of superchargers. Some people out there would probably also miss the raw sound of a petrol combustion engine. But the thing is, a completely silent car might actually be a positive point for some people. So really, just quantifiably speaking, the car is literally great value. 
So there it is, the first mass market electric car that isn't woefully underpowered. It's really an amazing time to be witnessing all of this. I wish Tesla the best and I really hope that this is the beginning of a revolution that takes us off our addiction to fossil fuels. Well, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching guys. And one thing, if you want to really see who made the electric car possible in the first place, check out my documentary on Nikola Tesla. It's one of my best pieces of work and a link to it will be available right after this. And lastly, I just wanted to say a big thank you to you all and a special thank you to all of you on Patreon. It helps the channel out. This has been Dagogo. You've been watching Cold Fusion. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and feel free to share it. Cheers. Have a good one. Cold Fusion. It's new thinking.